What's good? I'm Eleni and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with my bestie Morgan. Hi. And she is teaching me and all of you how to make sushi. And today all the stuff that we're going to be using I got at a local Asian market here and the rest of the stuff you can find at a local um, market like Publix, Giant, Walmart, things like that. I've been to um, live up north. <laughs> yeah. So you could pick up um, some of the simple things like the yeah. um, seaweed and stuff. Cool. So if you like this video, be sure to give it a like, subscribe to my channel, and ring the bell for your notifications. Alright, let's get started cooking with Kukitsa. <laughs> <laughs> and now for the champagne. And of course, what would be an Eleni and Morgan video without a signature champagne? This is organic sushi nori, and this is used to wrap around the sushi and hold everything together, and it's also very tasty. Um, this is premium sushi rice, so if you do plan to make this yourself, um, I would definitely recommend getting sushi rice because before I tried it with regular rice and it did not stick very well, so definitely get sushi rice. This is going to be for a side. This is just some kimchi that's spicy um, that I picked up at the grocery store and it's so good if you love if you love kimchi. Okay, and then moving on to what we're putting inside of the sushi. So here we have our crab, so that's gonna be our seafood, and then ginger. We're gonna use some avocados. This is asparagus and cucumber, so all of that will be inside of some of the rolls. We're gonna still have to figure out which, which rolls are gonna get what. And then next we have some rice vinegar. So this is going to go into the rice after we cook it and it gives it a very um, good taste. This is some pickled ginger um, that will be used as a side that I picked up at the Asian market. So I'm really excited to try that. All right, and then here are some of the sides and toppings. So the sesame seeds is what's going to be sprinkled on top of the roll. And then we have um, soy sauce with less sodium because that has way too much salt in it regularly. But um, that will be a side that we can dip it in. And then of course, the yum yum sauce because what's sushi without yum yum sauce? This is actually my favorite thing to dip sushi in.
one. So here's another one. So this could be a third. Okay. Okay, and now we need one fourth cup. Yeah. Okay. So it fit. We got it. But the race is still not done yet. It's about to be done. But while we're waiting on that, we are going to make some instant boba tea. And I also found this. <laughs> the race is making noises. <laughs> I also found this at the Asian market. So I would definitely say if you have one near you to go check it out because they have so many cool little treats like this. So I'm so excited to make this. I'm excited to try it. My favorite. Boba is taro boba, so this is kind of cool to be able to like make it at home instead of having to go out. Um, there's a lot of good boba tea places where I live, so we'll have to go next time I come visit. Yes. And unfortunately, there's really not any around here. There's mm -hmm. just the one, so we don't have a lot to like you do, though. We have a lot of good memories of getting boba tea mm -hmm. back in like Harrisburg. In Harrisburg, <laughs> yep. We used to go all the time. We would get sushi burritos and sushi bowls or poke bowls, poke bowls or yeah. whatever they're called, yeah. and boba tea in the mornings <laughs> after a fun night. Yes. <laughs> All right, so let's figure this out. Let's make this. <laughs> 100 cubic centimeters is about 0 0.42 cups. Oh, okay, so maybe we have enough. That's like about half of a cup, I think. I guess. Cool. So, so there's little packets that this comes with. Cool. And I think that each packet would probably be about for like one person. So um, I totally forgot this required milk, but luckily I do have oat milk here as I don't drink regular milk. And neither do I. <laughs> yeah, so this is perfect. So hopefully it'll still taste good even with um, not real milk. <gasps> Whoops. <laughs> And um, so each packet we had to ask Alexa, but it says 100 cc's, which is about um, a half a cup of milk. So I poured out in my measuring cup one cup of oat milk. And that was pretty much all we have left, which is perfect because um, we only need two bobas. So we just made it. And also it came with these straws, which are perfect. Ooh, perfect. Hot yeah. straws. Love them. All right, so it does say, so you take one of the packets and you add the milk and some ice. It says 80 grams of ice. 
so I'm also probably gonna have to use the wax to convert that. <laughs> and um, you pretty much just boil some water and add everything in and then the drink is ready. So we'll see how this goes. I haven't made this before. So we have our heated boba and we're just gonna pour it in. Ooh, gee. about done and it's easy to tell in the rice cooker because it switches from I think what does it say cook to warm so that's how you know it's done and it automatically detects that um, so usually I like to fluff the rice up a little bit with a fork wow this mm -hmm. cooked perfectly it looks really good it looks so fluffy yeah and it's perfectly it's nice and sticky so it'll be perfect for sushi that the shiny side of the seaweed is face down because you're going to want that on the outside of your sushi roll. All right, good to know. So we have our big bowl of sushi rice. So um, I'll give you the actual sushi rice <laughs> spoon. And I'm just gonna use a regular spoon. So you just take your rice and then you wanna flatten it out on Yeah, <laughs> so everybody can see. Like this. And you just want to press it down. Smells like sushi. Mm -hmm. Yum, I love that smell. Me too. And it's extra sticky for sure. We definitely yes. achieved the right stickiness. Okay. Oh, that's our Alexa timer. Alexa, stop. Yes, he's gonna he's gonna get his own little roll. 
but um, <laughs> he is just trying to eat all of our ingredients. Ew! Leo! He's Leo! Leo! Leo. 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 <laughs> oh my goodness! My baby is. He's a little greedy. He's a little greedy boy. Like, he just. He can't control himself. Ooh. <laughs> he just jumped down. He was not happy. Yeah, Leo's very greedy. Um, I don't know, like, what his owners did to him, but he. His previous owners, like, they must have just fed him people food all the time. He thinks it's appropriate to just steal. Like, he'll grab it and run. And I'm like, what? Trying to break that habit. The best thing that he runs with it. <laughs> He'll run with like a whole chunk of. One time he stole a whole piece of naan from me. Like oh a my whole gosh. piece. And he ran. And I was just like, hey, <laughs> that's mine. <laughs> okay, so do I need more rice or what do you no, think? Okay, good. I'm good. Perfect. So we'll show the camera how much rice we use. Um, you did a better job like not getting it on your fingers like me. <laughs> This is what mine looks like, everybody. And, and here's mine. So you want to have just the right amount of rice, like not too much, but not too little, where you're not gonna have any rice. It's not like a good half medium. Looks good to me. So, <clears throat> all right. I'm gonna have to lock him up. <laughs> You're gonna go and but everybody say bye to Leo. <laughs> So another small tip is you want to make sure when you're rolling it, I think it's easier to roll it towards you, so you want to have the um, the long way going sideways, if that makes sense. So I'm doing it wrong. Um, yeah, but it's okay. <laughs> we were moving it around when we did it, so you just want to have it, yeah. All right. So I the shorter it. end should be on the outside, and then the longer is going to be the one that's towards you. Um, yeah. Okay. So, right, what are we gonna put in our first roll? So, I think we said let's do some crab, crab and, and just, that sounds good. Or cucumber. Or cucumber, either one. Maybe some cucumber. Um, yeah, so we'll do crab and cucumber. Nice. <clears throat> so, all you do is take um, a little slice. So, we did cut the imitation crab in half so it's smaller. And you want to lay it uh, lengthwise. So I'll show them again. That on the section. And then you can also layer it so it goes all the way across your sushi roll. Do we have to put it on the end or is it better in the middle? Um, I think as long as it like try to reach it, because you have to think you're potentially. I think always the best sushi roll is going to be the one in the middle. Yeah. The best yeah. Level. yeah. Wow, Lenny's looks perfect. Mine's professional. It's literally professional. I mine is like just kind of thrown. <laughs> Yours is like it's laid like out really time. nicely. I'm a perfectionist. Okay. <laughs> so this is the hardest part now about making the sushi is rolling it. So you want to start by taking the back that's closest towards you, and you want to roll it over, and then you want to make sure everything stays tucked inside. And then you're gonna pack it. So we got that first. So we're gonna pack it then and squish it together. Oh, and it's gonna get a little messy because I have this hot in my hands. But yeah, so you gotta pack it. Yep. So make sure all of that's tucked inside. All of the seaweed should be nice and tucked. So when we do our next roll, it'll be all nice and tucked and it won't fall apart. So then you're gonna take your mat out. because you're gonna want everything to stay together. So use your muscles. You do not, yeah, you do not want this to fall apart on you. So you 
want to squeeze it really tight and then even you can go back in and move the roll. Very pretty. Yeah. It did come out really pretty. And you could even and then pack it again and make sure it's nice and round. You want it to look pretty. Yeah. I don't know if I'm supposed to do it like this, but it totally works. <laughs> Whatever works. <laughs> That was because I'm gonna be that being one. super messy. Yeah. I just got a little bit cleaning the rice out very well. Alright, so we got our sushi roll. So you wanna get a really, really sharp knife because we have so much packed into one. Fix. 
<laughs> We're gonna roll like this. So funny. Oh yeah, not easy. All right, the next one we're definitely gonna do see on the outside. Again. Yeah, we tried. It's okay. This is all I need. <laughs> oh, I mean, it looked cool. Yeah. The sesame seed went off, right? On the. Oh yeah. You don't even get this at the restaurants where you get one of each sushi kind. Yeah, you have to when actually. When you make it at home, you can have whatever you want. I know at the restaurants, you order it by the rolls, so you just get, I usually order two rolls. Same. Yeah. I do love specialty rolls though too, and then sometimes I only get one, but. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think I got, there was one, two, five. Uh, there should be six. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm missing one. Okay, I think you found this. Well, I know this one. I think I don't have this one. sushi taste test. <laughs> what piece are you starting off with first? Uh, this is avocado, um, actually no, it's cucumber, asparagus, and crab. This one that I have is the crab, avocado, cucumber, and asparagus roll. This is like the loaded roll that we made. Oh, I can't wait for the loaded roll. Yeah, I'm like starting with that first because I'm excited. I dipped it in mm -hmm. some yum yum sauce. takes a while to chew, mm -hmm. especially when it's loaded with good ingredients. The rice is so sticky. Oh I my love god. It. Yeah, it's delicious. Mm -hmm. All right, this next is I'm doing the all crab roll. Oh, let's try this. Yum. I'm gonna try mine in some soy sauce. Mm -hmm. Whoops, my crab is about to fall off. This is what I'm trying next is a crab and cucumber roll. Mm -hmm. Even though it's not like perfectly wrapped like what you would get at a restaurant, it is so good and fresh. Mm -hmm. Like, it tastes delicious. It's definitely worth making at home. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna give it a try for fun. It's like a fun, like, sushi cooking night that like everybody can participate in, I feel like. Yeah, definitely. And if everyone can get their own rollers and roll at the same time, you would have probably by the end of it like 30 rolls. Mm -hmm. You even had like four or five people making them. How many did we make? We have one, two, three, four, five, six rolls. Yeah, we made a lot. Mm -hmm. Like this is gonna be like good leftovers for the next couple days. Yeah, yeah. There's um no way we can finish all of these. <laughs> oh. We're gonna be sharing mm -hmm. sharing the rolls with <laughs> I am, I want to, did you just try the big white one? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I'm scared to try. Like, how did you fit that? Oh, I don't know how that just fit. This is a but, big boy. I can't even pick it up with chopsticks. It's going to fall. I think that one you probably need to do two bites. going <laughs> to, Okay, how big is this? Like, oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. But it looks so beautiful. Like, this mm -hmm. one's wrapped really well. It's just this is gonna be um this is this is gonna be two bites. I keep bumping yeah. your <laughs> <laughs> I lost it. It's okay. This is another big one. So I think that both of our rice on the outsides ones got really big. Mm hmm Probably next time we could do less rice. 
we loaded it up with so much yeah, rice. Yeah, so much rice. Which is probably why we're, we, I think we used all that rice that we made. And we it did. looked like so much. And that was three cups of rice. Mm -hmm. And we made all of this. Yeah. But I did feel like we'd be able to make, I feel like we kind of ran out of rice. Yeah. And we're like, we still have a lot of like ingredients. Mm -hmm. We did use all the crab though, I think. Mm -hmm. Yes, but we just have a lot of vegetables left over. Mm -hmm. I feel like this is a mukbang. Hmm? I feel like this is a mukbang. <laughs> like we have all this food. Yeah. We need to finish all of it. No, yeah. I'm kidding. In a mukbang we would, right? <laughs> you have to eat everything on your plate in a mukbang. Like, we're not doing a mukbang. I don't think I've ever done that. Me either. That sounds terrible. Because I don't even like to eat a lot. Mm -mm. Usually at once. Take a couple hours to, mm -hmm. throughout the day, mukbang. I don't think counts though. <laughs> Mukbangs, whenever I watch them, you eat like an obscene amount of food mm -hmm. in one sitting. And then you like put the mic really close to your throat to hear all those sounds. Yeah. I forget if it was like a movie or something when somebody had to finish like all of the pizza, like four or five pizzas. And if you finish it, you get free. It's all free, but you have to eat all of that. Maybe that was a story somebody told me, actually. I think that's actually like, there's a place that does that, I feel like. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe that's what I'm thinking of. Leo's gonna love his sushi, mm -hmm. hopefully. We have to give him a crab one. Mm -hmm. This one? Yeah. There's a teeny slice of cucumber, but two very big slices of crab, so that will be his. Set aside. No one touch it. <laughs> He'll probably just lick it too. I don't know if we'll eat the whole thing. Yeah, I don't think so. <clears throat> I'm not. I already finished my whole plate. Yeah, what? I still have two pieces. <laughs> I feel like I'm not. Um, I'm not following safe swallowing guidelines. <laughs> That's part of I'm telling people, this is me every day. Listen, small bites, small yep. sips, rotate between small bites and sips, and I'm over here going, oh, <laughs> an entire piece in my mouth. <laughs> I love it. Oh, as a side note, we should tell everyone what we did this weekend. Oh, yes, we almost forgot. Yeah. So, um, I don't know if you guys can see. But we got our second holes done. So both of us got new ear piercings. And something that I've wanted to do for a while and me and Morgan have been talking about it. Yep. We're like, the next time we visit each other, we're gonna get our holes done. So that's what we did. We are like, it would be so much more fun to do it together. Mm -hmm. And I'm so glad I waited because I was always like, I could have gotten it done so many times. And I was like, do you know what? I'm just gonna wait. Yes. I'm so glad that we ended up going together. It was a lot of fun. It's been a fun weekend. We had way too much fun last night. <laughs> way too much fun last night. We had a lot of new friends though. So. We did, yes. <laughs> had a lot of fun. Vince might be a little bit upset at us. <laughs> but we still had a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. I'm actually gonna go grab Leo. Mm-hmm. Unless he's running and like put him in the middle of the wall. <laughs> Leo, and now it's his turn to taste test the 
sushi. Hey, buddy. Do you like it? You were stealing crap before. <laughs> Go. He's so like, I'm allowed now. Nice yeah, I just found him because I locked him up because he lost his privileges. <laughs> um, he was sleeping on the bed, so he might not be that hungry. Whoops. Don't knock my plate over, silly. <laughs> okay, the way I have him sitting, I have him sitting like a person. And he's mm -hmm. like, please stop. Please stop. Here you go. stuffed yeah. a lot of leftovers but 100% worth it definitely recommend um, if you would want to make your own sushi this is a fun idea we had a lot of fun and yeah. you got to make whatever flavors you want inside your sushi so if you like this sushi cooking tutorial be sure to give this video a like subscribe to my channel and be sure to ring the bell for notifications thank you for teaching me how to make sushi Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>